So I decided to record this video early because I had today off of work. I took today off because I had to have the water company come by and fix our um, meter outside. It's reading zero no matter what, so I guess it has been since we moved here, so I don't know what's going on, but it's all broken, and they have to come fix it, so that's what they're going to do. I just wanted to do a video about my neighbors. I don't know if anybody has had weird neighbors out there however this is my second set of weird neighbors that I've had we lived in Tennessee and we had almost three acres so we lived in the country so we had a septic tank at our last house the house that we bought was only a couple years old so it was practically new and everybody knows like you usually get um like um your septic tank pumped every couple of years or what not just to make sure it's clean don't mind me, I'm just putting my lemon juice and apple cider vinegar in my water to burn the calories. I'll show you this really quick. It's the apple cider vinegar organic and raw. But anyway, back to my story. The neighbor seemed really nice. The wife was a nurse and the husband worked from home. And like they had us uh, babysit their dog when they went out of town and um we never let them pay us because we're like, you know, that's just what neighbors do for each other. And um, one summer, our lawnmower broke, and my husband's a mechanic, and he was trying to fix it, and it wasn't working. So we hired someone to go mow our lawn, and it is very expensive because it's almost three acres. Um, so it was like hundreds of dollars to have him do it. And our neighbors didn't know how much we paid or whatnot, but they came over, and they're like, use our lawnmower. We're like, no. We feel uncomfortable doing that. We'll just go ahead and hire someone to keep, you know, mowing our lawn. And she's like, here's the keys. I would never let you do that. You've babysat our dogs, everything. So we're like, okay. So we used their mower once before we got a new mower. Only once. And um, anyway, we thought we were cool and everything. And um, their daughter would always come over to my house. She was probably like nine years old. Really sweet little girl. However, like, her parents let her come inside our house, which I don't know about you guys, but I never let my kids go over to people's houses. But then again, at the time, I had two three-year-olds and a four-year-old. So, like, I would, of course, never let my kids go over to someone else's house where I was not around them. However, they let her come over all the time and hang out with my kids and watch a movie, whatnot. Like, again, I would not be comfortable with it, but she didn't mind letting her over. So she would come over at random times, knock on my door, and be like, hey, can I come in? And I'd always say to her, did you ask your parents? Um, and she'd say, yeah, they said I could come over, whatnot. So anyway, we had a really good relationship, and when she was over at our house, I would even give her, give her food if I was feeding the kids lunch. But again, I made her ask her parents, whatnot. Um, and our houses were pretty spread out because we lived in the country, so... Um, Anyway, we went to sell our house, and the realtor calls me. We had to move to um, Michigan because my husband had to start his other job, so we were trying to sell our house from a distance. And we got a call from the realtor saying that, um, like, our neighbors, somebody was coming to see our house, and the neighbors went over there and basically told them that – our septic tank was messed up, that it smelled, and that um, we never mowed our lawn, and a bunch of other lies. Like, we always mowed our lawn. It's not even true. It was really strange um, because we always had such a good... I mean, we would bake cookies for our neighbors, bring them over, and I always talk the best about them. Um, so I told my um, realtor, I was like, which neighbor? Is it the ones in front of us? Um, like to the side because like they were actually kind of weird and I invited them to church a couple times and they didn't want to have anything to do with me once I told them about God, which is, I mean, their choice. And I respected that, but I was like, they, he must be talking about them. And he's like, no, it's the neighbors, um, where the wife is a nurse and they have a little girl. I was like, are you serious? I'm like, I I can't believe that. That that can't be possible. We had such a good relationship. I babysat their dogs for free. I mean, I brought them cookies for every holiday. Like, there's no way. Um, so I found her on Facebook, and I wrote her a letter basically saying this is what happened. 
is it true? And she's like, no, that's not true. I went out there and I talked to the neighbor and my husband said he may have noticed a smell from the septic tank, but he never said it was broken. He never said you guys didn't mow your lawn, whatnot. However, it was just too weird for it to not have been true because like our lawnmower did break and they did let us borrow their mower once, which we tried to get them not even to let us. And now I regret like using it. Um, but anyway, I was like, okay, but like there was too many details like, um, their lawnmower broke. So they used ours and different stuff like that. And we only used it once and they insisted because they didn't want us to have to keep paying to have a professional mow our lawn. So anyway, the guy ended up not being interested in the house because he thought there was something wrong with the septic tank, even though they did an inspection and there was nothing wrong with the septic tank. And the house is newer, like it's a couple years old. So that was really weird. So that's the first instance I have of a neighbor, like seeming to be nice and normal. You know, me and my husband bending backward to be nice to them, babysitting their dogs for free. And we didn't even have pets, so, like, we literally had to keep those pets inside, which is not my thing because dogs get fleas and whatnot. But they asked me, and I wanted to be really nice and do it for them. So I went out of my way to be, like, a nice person and watch their dog, even though my policy is no dogs in the house. I mean, we don't have pets. The only thing we had at the time was chickens, and they were outdoors. So, I mean, I just felt really hurt by that. Like, I almost cried. I was so upset because... I really thought they were such nice people and literally they made us lose the sale of our house and it was really hard to pay to live down in Michigan and to pay a mortgage and utilities and they made our life so much hot, like harder because this person had offered more for my house than what we had it for sale for and they totally lost us the sale which is pretty awful um, and then lied about it and um, I don't know if they just wanted to seem like strike up a conversation and lie to be dramatic and they never thought it would go that far. But they're grown people. They're like close to my parents' age. So it was just really ridiculous. Um, so that's the first instance of me having a neighbor that was weird. And our, and our neighbor in front of us, honestly, they were weird too. They'd come over every once in a while, but they smoked pot like around the clock. And um, after they were totally cool with us until we invited them to church one time. And I never tried to push my religion on them. I just invited them. Then all of a sudden, they had twin girls, too, that were a little bit older than mine. Their kids were never allowed out of the house. They never came out to play. Um, and then they wouldn't let the kids come out over to our house because um, they didn't want, I guess, us to invite them to church again. So that is that situation. Now, here at the house I'm at now, I thought our neighbors were really nice. They're like an older couple, and a lot of people live over there. But something weird keeps happening. Like, um, I don't really talk to them that much because, I mean, it's freezing outside and we don't go over there. But when we were moving in, we said, hey, and they seem nice and they go to church. We were like, cool. You know, we got people who are seem to be really good um, people next door to us. But um, there's this guy who lives there. And, like, sometimes um, when you, like, take out the trash to the road, the trash people will, like, throw the trash back like the cans back over and sometimes a piece of trash will fall, will fall out and they won't get it all. I've noticed that with our trash people. So I go out there and I try and clean it up, whatnot. And our trash um, gets picked up on a Tuesday. So anyway, I've noticed the last couple weeks before I have a chance to go out there on Tuesday, like after our trash is picked up, like I'll have like